hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes and subscribe to this podcast so that you can be notified when new recordings are available. So I just want to say thank you for listening. And in this recording, before I kind of carry on, I'd like you to get yourself comfortable. Ideally lying down on your bed. But I realise that not everybody is able to sleep lying down. Some people need to sleep sitting up in the bed. Some people may be listening to this sitting in a reclined chair. So if you're in a chair, make sure that you your body's supported so if you fall asleep that you don't fall out of the chair, basically. You just need to make sure that you're safe. So I'm going to talk about lying down on the bed, but, you know, you can adapt it to whatever your specific situation happens to be at this moment. So before we go any further, I'd like to also do a body scan. Get in touch with your body. Just notice how it feels. Not trying to change how it feels, but just being aware of how it feels. So we're going to start with the top of your head. Your scalp. You know, basically that part of your head which uh, generally contains hair around kind of the hairline area. Just be aware of the scalp and how it feels. The top, the sides, the back. Sometimes when I focus on my scalp, I'll notice it. It's like a little tingling. Nothing weird, but just a little bit of a tingling. Um, Maybe that's the feeling of my scalp relaxing. And now as you move forward into your forehead, just notice how your forehead feels. So if there's any pressure, any tension, you just become aware of it. If your forehead feels relaxed, just become aware of it. You're not trying to cause your forehead to feel relaxed. But as we process the feelings within your body and notice those feelings, it almost seems to send a signal to those parts of your body not yet focused on to relax even though you're not consciously trying to relax or putting any kind of effort in your body relaxing. Now, focus in on your eyes. And you can focus on that that part between your eyes and your forehead, your eyebrows. Because when you raise your eyebrows, it stretches your forehead, but also stretches your eyes and the muscles in your eyes. And you can get a real sense of how your forehead and your eyes feel. So what I like to do is almost kind of make make a bit of a face, you know. 
like scrunch my eyes up a little bit just so I can just get more in touch with how your eyes feel in this moment and you may notice that your eyelids feel very relaxed not because I'm saying that they're relaxed or because I'm expecting your eyelids to naturally relax because that's what happens when you focus on your body in this way it's also because there's something calming about just closing your eyes especially when we spend I don't know how much time of the day with our eyes open in between blinks of course so there's quite a bit of pressure put on our eyes and our eyelids and the muscles around our eyes and of course the eyeballs the focusing that kind of pressure and stress that's maybe put onto your brain but just natural pressure natural stress natural kind of living stress that we all need in order to function we need a certain level of stress in order for our muscles to work and in order for our body, bodily organs to function correctly. And that's a different kind of stress to the, the stress that's unhelpful and uncomfortable and unable to stay in your body when you listen to me. As we focus now on your jaw, just being aware of your jaw what I like to do I like to just move my jaw around a little bit just gently from side to side and just open it open my mouth a little bit but just gently and softly and what I say next applies to every part of your body and every recording I ever make that you listen to that sends you to sleep or relaxes you completely is don't do anything unless it's comfortable. So if someone was to have maybe an issue with their jaw, then you don't open it. If, it, if it's painful to open it or move it around, then don't do that. This is about comfort. This is about getting in touch with how you feel. So if there is some kind of degree of discomfort there, you can acknowledge it. You're not trying to remove it. Because sometimes all those feelings that you have actually require is your attention, your acknowledgement just to be aware because that's all that pain is for anyway is to let you know that maybe something needs to be done maybe just to be careful for example a broken leg you've got a set it's all sorted maybe you've got a cast on it and it hurts a bit but it hurts a lot more when you stand on it if it's not ready. So that's that feeling's only there to remind you. So if you give it attention, it doesn't need to be there. It's almost like you're giving it a little visit, saying hi, just checking in, making sure you're okay like maybe you would with an elderly neighbour just to make sure they're okay and then both parties are relaxed 
now you're feeling calm and relaxed because you've visited and you're feeling calm and relaxed because you know they're okay and they're safe. So you could think of it in that way, like you're visiting the different parts of your body in a different context to how maybe in the past you would have focused on those parts with more of a judgmental attitude, more of a, an expectant attitude of wanting something different from what is. When in fact, just accept how you feel in each part of your body. Something happens and that part of your body seems to seems to feel that acceptance and no longer needs your attention it just automatically relaxes so as you focus on the side of your head including your ears and down the sides of your cheeks and the sides of your jaw the temple and just being aware of that area the area that maybe you don't give much attention to even in relaxation recordings the ear seems to be left out for some reason and your ears are just as important as any other part of you and they give such a great service to you they don't ask for anything they're just there working for you all the time there for you so maybe by being there for your ears, just for a short few moments, checking in with your ears, making sure they're okay, by just being aware of them, focusing on them, noticing how your ears feel right now. Including the sides of your face, your cheekbones, and usually you can start to notice a sense of comfort in your ears and your face just automatically seems to relax in its own way without asking your face to relax deeply. And you can notice the skin on your face, the skin that's connected, that covers your entire body the skin that's just above your left eye is connected to the skin on the bottom of your left foot. It's all connected. And the skin is one of the most important parts of your body. It protects you. maintains your temperature and it protects your body, protects your internal organs it's so important keeps you dry you're great waterproof even though it might seem not seem like it if you get wet but you don't really get wet the water's on your skin it never goes into the skin just outside
protecting your body all the time from infection and keeping you safe and well. Allowing you to have feelings. Some of the most wonderful feelings come from the skin. Just the touch, the intimacy, the safeness of holding a hand. As you now focus on the back of your neck, again not trying to cause the back of your neck to relax completely, although you may be aware that the back of your neck and the muscles in that part of your body do feel different to how they were before you started listening to this recording. And you can be aware of any trickles of tension that may still be remaining in the back of your neck and you can also be aware of sense of relaxation that may be in the back of your neck as well because it's about accepting whatever is accepting whatever feelings you experience in this moment remembering that all feelings are constantly changing and as I talk I notice my shoulders really feeling relaxed And my arms and my hands, my face, my forehead, and my eyes really, really feel calm. There's not a trace of tension in my eyes. In fact, my face feels like it's already asleep. It's got that sense of just feeling peaceful. Now, you can focus on your shoulders, your right shoulder to start with. Just noticing how your right shoulder feels. And if you feel like it, you could maybe move your shoulder a little bit, maybe raise it up and just let it drop down again. If it's comfortable for you to do so. Noticing how it feels when you do that. I just did it myself and did it very slowly. And the first thing I really noticed was how the right side of my back, the upper part of my back, stretched. It feels so loose. It's a really pleasant feeling. You can 
focus on the left shoulder being aware of how your left shoulder feels right now mine feels heavy yet kind of light at the same time I'm going to lift it up a little bit like I did with the right shoulder oh, this time I can feel my back on my left side my upper back stretching I can also feel it in my neck as well side, left side of my neck and the first time I did it I've now done it three times the first time I felt a little bit uncomfortable a little bit the second time it felt so much more relaxed and the third time I almost feel like I've had a gentle massage on my neck the left side of my neck really feels relaxed even though I was focusing on my left shoulder that's what I noticed now you can focus on your right arm just noticing the top of your arm, your elbow, and your arm all the way down, including your wrist. If you want to, you could tense your arm a little bit, tensing the muscles, and then just letting them go. Or you can just focus on your right arm as it is. Just noticing those sensations in the top of your arm, your elbow, your forearm, and into your wrist. And again, even though I'm focusing on my right arm, I've noticed that my back, the whole of my back is starting to relax. It almost feels like it's being stretched but really gently yeah I'm not actually doing anything feel quite pleasant actually it's really loose and even though it's got joints in it and there's the elbow and there's the, the shoulder and there's the joint connections with the wrist it feels like it's just one long bone without any bends or connections in so fact it doesn't really even feel like a bone it feels just like a an energy of comfort it's hard to explain but it's nice as you now focus 
from your left arm, moving down from your left shoulder, upper arm, elbow, forearm and wrist. So my left arm definitely feels different to how my right arm now feels. But what was strange is, as I said that, I focused on my right arm just for a second as I was comparing. And then I went back and focused on the left arm. And it's, it's almost like it's trying to mirror the right arm on its own. It's like it's trying to feel as relaxed as the right arm does without even any need to tense it or anything like that. Of course, if you decide you'd like to tense your left arm just for a couple of seconds, you can do that. And I'll do that with you. A little bit of gentle tense with the muscles and then just let it relax. And even though I did that for my left arm, I noticed my lower back relaxing. Again, almost like it's stretched. I can also feel pleasurable feeling down my back of my neck but more into the, like the shoulder blade area it's like my shoulders are becoming more relaxed and I'm, I'm not even focusing on them lower back's definitely feeling incredibly relaxed right now. Almost feel like I've purposely stretched my lower back, but I haven't. I'm just sitting here, focusing on my left arm. As I'm doing this, my left shoulder feels a little bit uncomfortable. A little bit of discomfort there, so I'm just going to focus on it. And accept it. Because it's okay. And as I focused on my left shoulder... feeling just seemed to disappear I was back again and I could feel it in a specific muscle and as I focus on it just there it's, it's kind of like it's a feeling but it's not it's not comfort it's not discomfort it's just a feeling now I can't even I can't even locate it so I'm going to move to my right hand so if 
focus on your right hand, noticing how your hand feels, the palm of your right hand, the top of your right hand and your fingers. And maybe you'd like to just make a, a little fist, just gently putting a fist together, holding it for a couple of seconds and then just letting it go. Or you can imagine doing that in your mind. And just noticing the sensation. It changes the way you feel in your right hand. you now focus on your left hand, just be aware of how your left hand feels in this moment. not trying to cause your left hand to feel any more relaxed than it naturally feels right now you choose, you can make a fist with your left hand, just gently, only if it feels okay to do so, and hold it for a couple of seconds, and just let go of your hand, release it, and allow to feel exactly how it does without judgment or as you notice the feeling chest just being aware of those feelings across your chest Feel the movement of your chest when you breathe naturally. Just be aware of those feelings in your chest. Just 
be accepting to how your chest feels. As I focus on my chest, I'm noticing when I breathe, my stomach also moves. So I focus on my stomach, that whole area from my diaphragm all the way down to my hips. Just being aware Just accepting how my stomach feels. this moment it's almost like being aware but at the same time As I was focusing on my stomach, you could notice the, your sides, that part of you between the stomach and the back, the muscles. on either side sometimes there can be a part that maybe doesn't get much attention it could feel nice when you actually give it few moments of your time to just feel those sensations of your sides Just now the whole of your back starting from the top all the way down to your hips my back just 
chest feels really relaxed. So calm and still. So calm and still. Just accepting how your back feels now. As you now focus on your hips. That whole area of your hips, which contains your buttocks, your groin, the tops of your legs, your lower abdomen. Just that whole area where your upper body joins to your legs. Notice in a general feeling in your hips. Just allowing whatever physical sensations that you naturally experience to just be there, to just be there. so much for you on a daily basis and it can feel really nice to just take some time out take some time off to get in touch with your hips I almost feel like my hips are sort of gently turning although they're not physically doing that but in my mind I'm imagining just stretching my hips and it feels like I have I can feel that sensation in the upper part of my buttocks, those muscles leading to my lower back, feeling really relaxed, just naturally feeling really relaxed. Now, as you focus on your right leg, the top of your thigh, your knee, all the way down to your ankle, being aware of the sensations that you have. Just 
noticing, just noticing the feeling of the whole of your leg, the muscles and the skin. Again, you're not trying to cause the whole of your right leg to feel completely relaxed. You're just observing how your right leg feels. You're just observing how your right leg feels now. Those particular sensations in your right leg, in the muscles, in the bones, the joints. And just noticing how your right leg feels comfortably being aware of how your right leg feels and as you now move your focus over to your left leg Moving from the top of your leg, you're focusing and noticing all the way down to your ankles, the skin, the bones and the muscles of your left leg, all the way down. I'm starting to notice that my left leg is, is copying, it's copying my right leg. I'm feeling so much more relaxed, really heavy and really relaxed. So quickly and so calmly so quickly and so calmly it feels my left leg feels just as relaxed as my right leg feels I now focus on my right foot, just noticing how my right foot feels, the top of my foot, the bottom of my toes, the sides of my foot, and then I notice the feeling in my left foot. The bottoms of my left foot, the sides, the heel, the top of my left foot and the toes. Right foot. I'm noticing how my right foot is. A real gentle feeling in my right foot, it feels really calm, it's like it's releasing energy, it's just feeling sleepy and relaxed, as I focus back on my left foot feels 
just as calm and relaxed as my right foot, the toes and the feet almost like they're connected equally relaxed and calm equally relaxed and calm just like the whole of my body relaxed and calm relaxed and calm relaxed relaxed So... Uh.